Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is the annual commemoration of the faithful departed. We remember them with love in our prayers, especially in this Mass. Let us show our love for them by praying fervently and by participating actively in the celebration of this holy sacrifice of the Mass. Our Mass presider is Father Andrew Amanor, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. <laughs> Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In remembrance of our beloved faithful departed, we have placed their names in the violet box. We now light the Paschal candle, the symbol of the risen Lord, who conquered sin and death, and who promised new life to those who believe. A white cloth is placed over the box to remind us of the white garment with which we were clothed in baptism, signifying our dignity as children of God. And to symbolize our love and prayers for them, we now place the incense. My dear brothers and sisters, those of you who are joining us online, today we remember all the people we love so much who have gone ahead of us. As we remember them, let us pray for those who, who are with us, those who are living with us also. As we pray for all of us, we pray that God will continue to keep us as one people, as one people of God. Let us bring all these intentions together and pray for ourselves. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to cause sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, glory of the faithful and life of the just, by the death and resurrection of whose Son we have been redeemed, look mercifully on your departed servants, that just as they profess the mystery of our resurrection, so they may merit to receive the joys of eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who will listen and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. my light and my salvation whom should I fear the Lord is my life's refuge of whom should I be afraid of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. the sound of my call, 
Have pity on me and answer me. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, though perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we are now justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath. Indeed, if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, how much more, once reconciled, will we be saved by his life? Not only that, but we also boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We honor the Holy Gospel. you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord jesus said to his disciples when the son of man comes in his glory escorted by all the angels of heaven 
he will sit upon his royal throne and all the nations will be assembled before him then he will separate them into two groups as the shepherd separates sheep from goats the sheep he will place on his right hand the goat on his left the king will say to those on his right come you have my father's blessings inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the creation of the world for i was hungry and you gave me food i was thirsty and you gave me drink i was a stranger and you welcomed me naked and you clothed me i was ill and you comforted me in prison and you came to visit me then the just will ask lord when did we see you hungry and feed you or see you thirsty and give you drink when did we welcome you away from home or clothe you in your nakedness when did we visit you when you were ill or in prison the king will answer them i assure you as often as you did it for one of my least brothers you did it for me then he will say to those on his left out of my sight you condemned into that everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels i was hungry and you gave me no food i was thirsty and you gave me no drink i was away from home and you gave me no welcome naked and you gave me no clothing i was ill and in prison and you did not come to comfort me then they will in turn ask lord when did we see you hungry or thirsty or away from home or naked or ill or in prison and not attend to you in your needs he will answer them i assure you as often as you neglected to do it to one of these least ones you neglected to do it to me these will go off to eternal punishment and the just to eternal life the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Gandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Today we remember those who have gone ahead of us in a very special way. The church has given us this opportunity, all of us, to think about people that we loved so much, who were with us, friends and family, who are no more with us. And I think that for us, since the beginning of COVID, hanggang ngayon, this is a very opportune time to reflect about kung anong ibig sabihin buhay natin sa mundong ito. What life itself means for us, all of us. Because if we will remember before COVID, siguro we were so, if I can say, masaya. At hindi lang masaya, medyo complacent ang mundong ito. Tayong lahat. Because everything was smooth for all of us. So COVID taught us, naging isang bagay that taught us, gave us a lesson that unang una everything that we have or who we are is from God and that we can best live well on earth if we remember this and if we stay together because when COVID came it disrupted all of us our lives parang naging nahilo tayo we didn't know what to do from the beginning especially most of us who have lost people who are very dear to us it's this time is a very good opportunity 
to think about what life itself is about. In our gospel reading, the disciples of Jesus, they only somehow ask Jesus about death and about the end times when they realized that Jesus was saying, Malapit na ang buhay ko sa mundong ito. But before that, wala. They never cared about thinking about the last times, thinking about how maganda life is, thinking about how precious life is. They never thought about that. They were always go, na go, na go in the activities, in their preaching, in following Jesus, looking at the, uh, the miracles that he was doing, and lahat ng ginagawa nila with Jesus. Till getting to the end today in our gospel reading, somehow they are asking, how is the end going to be? I don't know if any of you, you have ever witnessed or seen somebody who is at his or her end. It's a very rich experience because when people come to that experience, they tell us life lessons that normally we don't get. And today Jesus is telling his disciples, the end you should not be afraid of because the end is actually how you live with people who are very close to you. So how you treat your friends, your family, your wife, your husband, people who are very close to you, how you treat them, that is how your end is going to be. So it's not something that we should be afraid of. It's something that we should embrace. If you saw somebody in your life or you have somebody in your life that you take care of, it can be your friend, it can be your mother, it can be your father, it can be your husband, your wife. That is how the experience of the end is going to be. Because in taking care of that person, you are preparing yourself for the future. It's like building a house, that is the foundation of how your end is going to be. Whatever you are doing now for people who are very close to you. So today, as we celebrate this Mass, anytime we celebrate Masses like this, it's very rich. It's a very rich liturgy in our church because we remember our baptism. We remember who we are at the time we were called into the church. Into this church, knowing that I belong to a group of people who are always going to be there for me. That is why the church even prays for people that nobody is praying for. Imagine people who die, kahit san san, and then they have nobody to pray for. The church believes that they are also part of the people of God, and we pray for them. So today, let us celebrate people who are close to us with a sense of joy, knowing that Tumitingin sila sa ating lahat. All of them are with us in a special way. They are praying for us. That's why sometimes when we go for funeral mass, it looks as if people are not sad. They are joyful. You find people singing. You find people talking and expressing all sort of emotions because they know that the dead are with us in a very special way. So today, let us pray for ourselves and let's pray for all the intentions that we have. May God bless all of us and bless our friends and relatives who have gone ahead of us. We bring our petitions to God. gathered together by our faith in the immortality of the human soul, 
and in the resurrection of the dead, let us offer our prayers for all the faithful departed, especially those most dear to us. Let our response be, Lord, be merciful to your people. Lord, be merciful to your people. After announcing the prayer intention, let us pause for a while, pray silently for that intention, then wait for the lector to say, let us pray to the Lord for our common response. For all who follow Christ, that their faith in life after death may be strong. Let us pray to the Lord. For our friends and family members who have died, that they may rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be merciful to your people. For those lost through war or violence, that the tragedy of their death may make people work for peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be merciful to your people. For those who have died before their time, through accidents or suicide, that their loss may remind us of the sacredness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be merciful to your people. For people overcome by grief, that the power of Christ's love may lift them up and renew their hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be merciful to your people. For the forgotten souls, members of our parish, our community, that they may always have the benefit of prayers offered here. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be merciful to your people. For all the souls, for all our relatives and friends who have gone before us in faith, whom we remember now. And for the priests and people who worship here through the ages, that they all may behold the Lord's temple in the new and eternal Jerusalem. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be merciful to your people. God of light, to live in your house it is, is the desire of all your children Hear our prayers, all of us that we are, who are gathered here, all the intentions that we have, and help us all in all our needs. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Lord, in your kindness the sacrificial offering we make for all your servants who sleep in Christ that set free from the bonds of death by this singular sacrifice they may merit eternal life. Grant us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us, one of us, he accepted death so that we might all escape from dying. As one man, he chose to die so that in your sight, we all might live forever. And so in company with the Christ of angels, we praise you as with one voice we acclaim. font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, once after ascended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis our Pope, Ernesto our Bishop, all the clergy and religious, and all of us gathered here. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be called as to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us confidently pray the prayer that our Lord himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord always be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Be peace be with you. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take the sins of the world have mercy on us Jesus word of love you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Jesus Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, 
and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. Grant this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health and protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Fernandez. Pray for us. Please be seated for the announcement. For our annual commemoration of the faithful departed, we have prepared envelopes where you can write their names to be included in our masses. You can find them at the entrance of the shrine or at the shrine office. For those who cannot come here, you may also send the names of your beloved departed to our shrine email, shrineofjesusthedivineword at gmail.com, or you may send it via bit.ly slash shrine intentions. If you have other questions, contact the Shrine Office through our email or our phone numbers 0928-393-0400 or 775-42507. You may also visit our Facebook page, The Yosisan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. For our Masses for the month of November, the Mass intentions will be flashed 30, 30 minutes before the start of the Mass. Thank you very much, Father Ronnie R. Chrysostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. Please stand. Let us pray for all the faithful departed, especially those buried in our Garden of the Divine Word, in our Columbari, 
And for all of us people that we remember, let us pray, bring all of them together. Those of us who are watching us, we pray for all these people close to our hearts. By your resurrection from the dead, O Christ, death no longer has dominion over those who die in holiness. So we beseech you, give rest to your servants in your sanctuary and in, your, in Abraham's sight. Grant it to those who from Adam unto now have adored you with sincerity of heart to our parents, to our brothers and sisters, to our relatives, friends and benefactors, to all who have lived by faith along their way to you, by a thousand ways and in all conditions, and make them worthy of your heavenly kingdom. In your name, O Christ, we ask this to the merciful Father. Amen. We turn our rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Yeah.